and welcome to another edition of the Kids Online Cooking Club here at the Priest River Library in Priest River, Idaho. My name's Krista and this week we're going to do a really quick and easy recipe because last week we kind of did a long recipe so this week's short and sweet. We're going to make gorp and uh, that's a term that um, comes from a number of years ago. Um, it actually stands for good old raisins and peanuts but it's a term that was used uh, a long time ago for trail mix. So we're gonna make different variations of trail mix today. Uh, things that you can mix up and take with you on um, hikes, you can use them for snacks at school, you can, you know, anytime. So first thing, as always, is go ahead and uh, take a break, wash your hands and come back and I'll be here when you get back. Okay, I'm assuming you've washed your hands and you're back, either that or you're faking it, one of the two. Um, okay, so the first one we're going to do, and I've measured kind of all these out. There's no real measurements with this. It's something that's kind of um, just equal amounts of things in some cases. So it's sort of eyeball it. So the first one we're going to do is a basic gorp recipe, which is peanuts, raisins, and M&Ms. That's the basic one you see pretty commonly in the grocery stores and things. So I've got equal amounts of peanuts, raisins, and M&Ms. And we're gonna just stir these up. And just get it kind of so nice and colorful. I don't know if you can see this, but and then we're going to, for the sake of our show, and our extraordinarily high budget when it comes to making cool things. Okay, now you can see this in the clear plastic bag. Um, one of the things you can do if, if peanuts are not a good option for you for some reason, um, you can change out, that out to almonds, you can change it out to cashews, anything like that. So there's the first one. That's that one. Now, the second one we're going to do is one we're just that's sweet, salty, tart, and crunchy. Um, gorp can be anything. I mean, you, you can use your imagination. It's as, it's as broad as your imagination. So in this case, we are using peanuts. We are using dried cranberries, craisins, instead of raisins. That's the, that's the salty and the, and the tart. Broken up pretzels. White chips, white, uh, white chocolate chips, and butterscotch chocolate chips. And that one, with the chocolate chips on that, uh, everything's kind of equal in portions, but the, with the white and the butterscotch chips, I kind of did the total of the two of those as, as one portion, because you don't want, you don't want things to be too sweet. Um, the idea is that it's not just candy, that it actually gives you good energy because the, of the peanuts, especially in this case, it's got peanuts and it's got carbohydrates in it and stuff. So you can see this one, this one isn't as brightly colored as the other one, but here we have that one and we have that one. Now the third one that we're going to make though is just one that I'm calling crazy mix because I ran out of things to call it. So peanuts, M&Ms, craisins, oops, we had a runaway there, and this is kettle corn, just for the giggles of it. So this one's going to be kind of colorful and a little different. So, here we go. So now, you can see what we've got. All three. And you can, you can vary this. You can take the nuts out completely if there's something in there that you don't like. Just change it out uh, for something else. Sunflower seeds are, are another good addition. Now, we already mentioned almonds and cashews. You've got any kinds of dried fruit. Um, you can buy um, dried mangoes and dice them up. Anything like that that is um, kind of dry and shelf stable that doesn't need to be refrigerated, um, you're good to go. So that's gorp, good old raisins and peanuts in three different varieties. So hope you have a great week and we'll see you soon. Thanks for joining us. Bye.